Hi everyone, this has been Anna Connor from Dear to Begin Life Coaching. Today I want to talk about confidence and um, because in Cyprus we have started the school year on the 1st of September. We're starting the school year so a lot of children are going back to school and this is a time where, I don't know, parents are scared, children are a bit unsure of what's happening with them masks with the measures with okay we're not wearing masks at the moment but um, the goalposts are always changing do we wear masks how do we protect our children it, and also are our grades going to be affected with this coronavirus because unfortunately um, with not having one-to-one -one contact with the teacher and being at home and not having um, that accountability to the teacher, children's grades have failed, you know, last year. And so what is this year going to be like? <laughs> this is a concern for a lot of people and the teachers, the students, getting into university for a lot of students. Are they going to make it? Um, yeah. So I would like to talk to you about my experience and um, my my academic abilities and how it and and I'll just start with the story first of all so yeah it was when I was about 11 years old uh, we had taken a gap year we had come to Cyprus for a year and I wasn't in school um, my parents had bought this beautiful big house and they were fixing it and my brother and me George if you're watching, hi. <laughs> George and me, we had a gap year of school, which was one year. And this totally set us right back academically because we were left without knowing what we were doing. You know, at, um, you know we were totally not socializing with kids, not getting the academic, not um, learning. And so when I came back to New Zealand, I was placed in the class that... I had, you know, I had placed in a higher class because of my age. And so um, I remember just, um, I remember this situation where I was sitting in class and I was waiting for a maths grade. My heart was beating and I knew that I had failed miserably. I knew that I hadn't done well. I felt the sweating sensation and dizziness running through me. And... Um, <clears throat> I was looking around the room and looking at everybody, how confident they were, and they were getting their grades, and you know they were just fine with it. And and I knew that I didn't belong in that class, and I felt like a bit of an imposter. And so I had this cold teacher. He was an old man. And he was sort of like he was quite hard. And as he came clunking towards me with my grade, he had this like sneer on his face. And it scared the living shit out of me when I thought of what grade he was going to give me. And so he just plumps the, the, the sort of like just throws the grade on my um, on my desk, sort of with an unforgiving sneer on his face. And he says to me, "That's been a three out of 20. <gasps> I felt the earth swallow me up, and I was going deeper and deeper into my chair. I just felt the lowest of lowest at that moment. Um, and these defining like events, these situations label and traumatize a child. And that trauma followed me right through my schooling years. And, um, and when I went into university, I managed to get in. <laughs> I thought that somebody was, I was waiting for somebody to tap me on the shoulder and say to me, you don't belong here. But... Um, I also had a bit of dyslexia, you know, dyslexia and ADHD. So um, I, I, I did find school difficult um, and I had to work harder than the other students in school. But that was the fuel that made me want to become a teacher. And it was the fuel that made me sympathize sorry I'm getting a little bit emotional it made me sympathize with those students who do struggle 
because I see it in their writing. I see a lot of the students that I teach, they are struggling. Um, they are struggling because their brain is not wired in the same way that other children are. And they do feel that they can't learn in the way that the education system is based. And that's why it's very important to use the technique of trial and error. Keep trying different methods of learning. And even if you have worked much harder than other students and you don't get the grade, keep trying because you will succeed. You will succeed, but it's a matter of trial and error. Um, I believe that by, by going through these events in your life, these traumatic events, it builds you up to be more um, sympathetic to people that are suffering because many children, many adults, they feel that they are not enough. And it is our job as parents, as educators, as people, as society, to work with these, these um, negative emotions and people in ourselves to become one and to become loving and to be kind. And um, without going through trauma, you will not be able to help other people. Um, I was crushed. I was crushed as a child. My academic abilities and, and my feelings of not being enough. But it's just like grapes are crushed. And they're crushed like in the olden days under the feet of other people. But, you know, by by crushing the grapes, they become wine and the wine isn't crushed and the wine is used for it it's it is the blood of christ and so it's so um i can think of the greek word now but not the english word um sacred it's so sacred and so by going through trauma we are crushed but um these experience are gold when you can help other people with them so, um, yeah, so the analogy of being crushed under the feet, like the, the grapes, are the, only, are the only fruit that are crushed under the feet of people. But, you know, in the olden days, that's how they made wine. Um, but it becomes something so valuable, so sacred after, and it expands. So old wine, as it gets older, mature, it expands and it becomes more um, valuable. And so anything that we've experienced, any pain, any suffering, it can make us better people. Um, and I can give you an analogy of, of two frogs that are, um, they're in a farmhouse and there's a big massive pot of, of, um, of milk on the, on, the, on the kitchen table. And so they accidentally fall into this big tub of cream buttermilk and they start trying to get out. They start kicking and splurging and trying to get out. But what happens is they can't, you know, they just keep trying and trying. They're exhausted. And um, one of the frog gives up the fight and he, and he sinks. To the bottom and he drowns the other frog keeps trying he keeps trying he fails he keeps trying he fails he keeps trying he fails until the milk butter becomes butter and it becomes a solid and he's able to use that solid foundation to get out and he survives and that's basically life life is about trial and error trying something new if you fail you try something new again if you fail you try it again and and you develop competency 
And even though you do try maybe harder than another person, you will get there in the end because that's what life is. Um, and that's how confidence is built. And I personally believe that nobody has the right to tell anybody that they are a failure. Nobody at all. Um, I have continued, I'm 52 years old, and I'm still learning every day. And I've made my mission to have academic success, um, no matter what anybody labels me. It is my mission, and it is my right. And even if I fail, even if I can't get it as quick as other people, I will keep evolving, and I will keep maturing, and I will become a better version of myself. And that's what we should try to instill in our children. And even with these insecurities, these, these difficult times, it's through these revolutionary times that our children can be and do something that we couldn't because they have an inward resource inside of them that will make them become a better version of us. <laughs> you know? Because even COVID times, they can use technology to evolve or they can use different resources, an internal resource that they have that we didn't have. And so that's it. Be confident, be bold. And even if you fall, get up and try again. Thank you for watching. Ah, hello, Luga. How are you? So good to see you. And thank you for the beautiful messages. Yeah, and so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.